Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to Astral Colony. Uh, it's a game I saw on Steam a couple of weeks ago, I put it on my wish list and I finally decided to pick it up. And uh, as you can see, it's sort of like a, a factory, factory building type game that's actually been based in space. Uh, I, I have seen mixed reviews, mixed reviews on this, I have actually done a bit of a playthrough on it and I did have uh, mixed first impressions with it. At first I thought it looked good, it looks actually quite interesting, I started getting into it and it did start to seem fairly simple but I started getting into it more and this is actually quite quite an interesting game and I thought I'd get into it and do a little bit of a series on this so let's go ahead and check it out uh, go ahead and start it it is a, it is a procedurally generated infinite world uh, I have tested the, how infinite it is I walked off my platform turned to my gravity boots which for some reason pulls you down even if you're not near an object and I kept falling and falling and falling. I kept seeing more things, and we'll get into that in a minute. Um, as I said, it's ran, uh, procedurally generated, so I have put a seed in here now. This one in particular just happens to be roughly around the time of the so-called end of the world Mayan calendar stuff they actually had in this calculation. It was supposed to be 2034, not 2023 or 21 or whatever. But anyway, uh, this is just a see just a random number uh, as you can see you can uh, turn ox ox oxygen consumption on and off there's a toil bot which i'm going to turn off because it's annoying it's uh you'll see it in the intro video here uh enable booster and free construction i think you start with the booster you have to actually unlock the research and free construction yada 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 uh so we're going to go ahead and start with that now to me this is basically a cross between captain of industry and raft and raft it's you know, start off with nothing. You start building as you go and expanding, collecting resources, and in this case, we build a station. One planet would be enough for us. Was okay. Goodbye. Uh, but basically, you're build building a station. Now, this station you can actually put thrusters on and control, and you can actually move it around. But this system is actually very big. Uh, it may seem a little too easy with these asteroids, but this is stutter stuff. Like these are kind of minimal things uh, stuff like that is what we're looking for uh, as you can see it's an iron deposit there and then if you go over there we have looks like carbon yeah carbon and all that stuff but this is just what's around me if we open up the map that's the wrong button that's the wrong button too there we go this is the map this is where we start and I believe it goes about five simulated light years so it's not really that far and this is just here if I were to get into a, a spacecraft, which I'll get later on down the road, and I were to fly to this point, my station will be way over here. It'll be the whole new section. It just keeps going and going and going. It's just infinite and limitless. So that's quite interesting. Uh, in my first playthrough, one thing I didn't realize is uh, these floor panels are actually unlocked already. Uh, going to the building menu here. Uh, oh, I thought they were unlocked already. I guess that's basic. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the basic research. But we get the floors right away, so I gotta start expanding. Uh, needless to say, I got through most of production. I was still on the, basically this little thing. I was getting a little cramped and all that stuff. Uh, the research itself is actually fairly similar to Captain of Industry, where it's got different tiers of research points, and you actually have to craft each one uh, the further you go. Now, it it is very extensive. Uh, very, very, very extensive. Like goes all the way down. I got to about here, and it's just insane trying to generate that much science. And then I couldn't even figure out what the black holes are for. I think it had something to do with the scanner, which is a long ways away. We're all the way back here. Now, the, the way science works is the basic science here. It says right there, you collect it by. Uh, no, you get earn it by gathering asteroids and using the asteroid collector catcher, which we'll get into in a little bit. Uh, first thing I need to do though is I need to get some science and get some oxygen going so i'm going to go ahead and go to my pickaxe and then we've got the different things here now if you look on the right hand side there you can actually it actually tells you what's in there so there's, there's actually four pieces of carbon in here and carbon is just basically coal and i use that for fuel generation and over here we'd have copper and and sometimes they'll have different i things in it like uh I'll show you in a second here uh, yes, different minerals take different amount of time to mine. Ice is a little quicker. Oh yeah, that's me hitting shift because I'm so used to having the booster. Then we have ice here. This actually has six ice and three carbon in it, and I got to get it before it hits the platform. It'll break, and it did. So, and I hit shift again. <laughs> so used to it. And this will be iron and 
No carbon. But anyways, I'm gonna get up some resources and I'll bring you back when it's time to build. Oh, actually, what I can do after I finish this up is there is uh, inventory crafting. Uh, go in here. Every every machine and your inventory has a crafting window here. And the crafting window allows you to open up like auto crafting. So if you have ores, you can automatically smelt them into ingots. I don't know how that's done, but it's very inefficient. It takes two ore to do one. I believe when you get to the smelters, it's one to one or even, yeah, one to one. And then as you can see, we can also start doing basic crafting. So wires, plates, we can do in the inventory. We can have them auto crafting or we can even t type in a specific amount and then it'll do that many. Uh, for now, I'm going to actually turn both auto crafting on of iron and copper yes iron and copper and i got up some more stuff because i gotta make sure i don't run out of oxygen or else i lose health which is the orange and the green bar around it uh the only survival mechanic in this game right now uh i don't know if it's gonna change it just happens to be oxygen uh there is going to be needs for your colonists that you basically they're more or less your researchers but you use them for get them to do other things as well and uh but they they'll have needs like in sims but they don't die they'll just stop working so you have to f fulfill the needs that they don't that they are needing before they start working again anyway uh back at her so i'll see you shortly okay i should have enough for now um meanwhile i'm at it if you look down there that's actually another another uh they call them planetoids i'm actually curious to see what that is down there and that's this one down here. And you can click on it, it actually tell you what resources it has. It tells you how much resources it's about. Is that 9,000 iron? Wow. 9,000 iron, 3,000 copper, and a little bit of aluminum. So I can actually fly down there and set up mining rigs, and they'll actually collect all that iron for me. Uh, we'll get into that a little later. Or it's a little early for that. Um, the thing with the, the planetoids, like these little islands and stuff, it's all destructible. You can actually uh, mine out the entire island and get dirt and stone from it. And dirt's going to be the one thing you can't actually produce and one thing you need a lot for for science. Uh, that's going to be, I believe, it was this one here, the chemistry science. This one needs dirt and iron rods, and it needs a lot of dirt, you need a lot of that science. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and unlock oxygen first. Uh, I do have 31 science for my and a whole bunch of asteroids, so we're going to unlock electricity and hand, cra hand crafting wire. So there's different types of power generation. We do start out with the carbon reactor. And then I believe the next one is going to be solar panels. Solar panels is gold. And gold isn't really, really common. So I actually tried to gather up some gold that I saw there. Uh, as far as uh, deconstruction materials, you don't actually get anything back until you actually get to recycling. Uh, until you get to the recycling machine. So that's going to be something else I get into fairly soon. Uh, I'll get the booster. The boost is allows you to fly faster, but it actually uses the oxygen, oxygen so you got to be careful of that. Uh, I'm probably going to need the plates. Uh, I'll get into asteroid catching, of course, and smelting. I actually have enough to get everything here. Uh, you can't just, oh, I didn't realize that you can't even demolish anything until you don't research it. And water, yeah, I'll have to do that. And what else do I have for science? Hmm. Uh... I also get that. I'll probably be dis dismantling things, and then we get into engineering. All right, yeah, engineering where we get the laboratory. The laboratory allows us to do the other science. Um, I believe this science and on, you actually have to bring in colonists, and then you have to start worrying about needs and stuff like that. But we'll worry about that later. Anyway, so uh, let's get some basic stuff going. So this is uh, these are the machines that we have to work with right now, like our different utilities. And I'm trying to click and drag, not scroll. So we have different craft, um, like fat machine smelters, uh, robot assembler, we're getting to drones later on and stuff like that, and then uh, navigation communication and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and first get a uh, simple uh, carbon carbon reactor down. It's not really a react reactor, it's more of a furnace. Uh, I think I might actually try to set this up somewhere where it's going to be... Use meaningful, meaningful where I can have like a container set up where I can actually feed stuff into it because uh, that was something I wasn't doing as I wasn't really planning anything out and stuff like that. There is a blueprinting system too. Uh, you have, have this tool, I don't know what it is, but you get the, it actually highlights the blocks. And for instance, I can collect, click and drag a certain area. Now, when I research a certain technology, I can actually copy and paste this or save it as a blueprint and then build it later at any time I want, even if it's like 
a year later on the game, like in real time, I can just pull it up and build it. So that's actually quite quite cool. So we have that. Uh, I do have to get some wire crafting. Uh, let's see, I have 10 iron, 11 iron. I'm only going to do going to do 5 because it's going to be 15 more and I don't need too much right now. So I can set that to 5 and I go ahead and just click it and then I believe it'll stay here. Actually, I think they'll go away after it does the 4. If you leave it on infinite, it just keeps going. So that's sort of like manual object crafting. Anyway, uh, so the oxygen that's in the game is, uh, let's see here, we use, use an ice, ice, that how it works. No, actually, we don't need that. That's for stays, or the, the oxygen bubble, which we get into fairly soon here. Oxygen generator. Oxygen generator turns ice, turns it into oxygen. Uh, let's see here. We'll have it this way. I kind of have the power on the wrong side, though. I'll have it this way. Like so. Uh, I do have to get some pipes going, too, eventually. I don't actually really need it right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and get our wire. And then we just connect it from the power in to the power, power out to the power in. Throw some carbon in there. And there we go. We'll produce some power. Now in here, I go ahead and throw in ice. Uh, the shift click brings up that. Control click moves it. Anyway, uh, so you can go to the machine. I can go to the machine right now. And if there's ice in there and I just hit F, it'll actually refill my, refill my oxygen a little bit. Uh, later on, we can uh, unlock oxygen tank. And if I have oxygen tank unlocked, then I can build... Uh, what do they call it? a stasis barrier and it basically creates a, 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 a sort of like a oxygen airlock around here so like a f force field I can fly in and out but as long as I'm inside the green zone then I have oxygen so there we go that is set up now let's uh, bring up the research here and see what where I'm gonna go next because uh, in order to get into the oxygen barrier is what they call it uh, I will need pipes for that as well because I have to feed water to that, so... See, so yeah, I got three for that. Alright, so now it's going to be... Gathering more science. Well, let's go ahead and get into... Some platforms here. Uh, let's see what I have for... Actually, what I like is having that little bar at the top to see what I have on my inventory. In my inventory, I should say. Uh, what, is it? what do I need for the plates? Just one ingot. I always get confused with this dramatic music. Uh, it looks like I have to gather some resources. Let me gather up a few stacks of stuff since I'm sort of set up right now. I'll bring you back when I got some resources to actually do something interesting. Okay, so uh, I'm realizing I'm going to need to get a fair amount of iron because uh, each panel's a plate. So I thought maybe we'd go take a quick run up that uh, that island up there. That one is an iron deposit. Now, I should be able to make it if I use the boost because it's actually fairly close. Uh, there's actually something we can unlock. It's called a harpoon connector that actually allows us to pull this thing closer to the, the, the station, which is actually quite interesting. But uh, as you can see, this is one of the, uh, the iron deposits, and as you can see, it's 27, so you can actually gather a lot more from one spot without having to go around. And this entire area here, I don't know if I have it unlocked yet. I do not. It's scanning, but it'll show you the, the size of the ore vein and how many items are actually in in it which is actually quite interesting because you can find stuff that's actually hidden underground so if you uh, bring a, uh, a mining station up up to one of these planetoids and you actually use drones to do the mining for you uh, you can dig out the area for them so they don't have to spend the time digging it or do their miscellaneous pathfinding but that being said i'm gonna keep going i am crafting a whole bunch of plates i'm gonna try to get enough to build a stable platform because I want to try to get some sort of setup going. Anyway, uh, enough rambling, I'll be back. Okay, I managed to get a fair amount of iron. I got 24 ingots and I think I got about 40 some plates for now. Uh, this is just to get a little bit of an area set up because the platform that I have there, I want to try to quarantine off it. Well, I won't say quarantine off it, uh, seal off as like a bit of a station and this is the boost I'm talking about and this is actually what it gives you for speed uh, from what I've seen in uh, sort of a improperly patched update they still had dev cords on, on the screen or debug cords on the screen like that and you can actually see your velocity and apparently with the jetpack there is no limit to the speed that you, you can attain so the, you know, it's quite interesting I don't have any ice to throw in there okay we have enough carbon all right let's get a smelter going here 
All right, so smell three is three ingots. It does use power. Uh, the thing about the power in this game, as you can see in here, I'm producing 10 energy, producing 10, let's just say 10 kilowatts. Uh, the, the oxygen generator uses one power, one, uh, one kilowatt. Yeah, and then I believe the smelter uses, uh, actually, I can't place it yet. Uh, where do I want to put this? Actually, uh, hmm. I don't figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff. I can always move it later, I guess. Uh, I was going to expand. Let's go on this side here. That's the wrong button. Yes, spacecraft. We'll get into that later. There we go. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, let's go to floor. Did I not unlock it? Hang on. Wall. Where is floor? Oh, floor's here. Apparently. Uh, all right. All six signs for that. Oh, I can't do that yet. Oh, oxygen barrier. We'll do that, and we don't really need the hydrogen at the moment. Uh, there's a drill, but honestly, I don't like the drill. Uh, it basically works in a single area and. That's about it. It doesn't get, get you really too much, but we need that for the automated ca catching. So we're going to get that anyways. And we don't really need logistics right now. Wait, what's that? What's that? Oh, yeah. Conveyor belt. Yes. Got to have conveyor belts. And cosmic harpoon. Uh, I probably won't get that. Just because of the fact we can fly up there and all the good stuff that we have to get to, we need to really need the spacecraft to get to anyway, so we'll just leave that there. Alright, uh, yeah, so, you know what, since I've got the oxygen barrier set up, let's actually do that, because like I said, I want to sort of have the inside of the station sort of station, have production outside. So let's go ahead and, uh, what do I need? I need, okay, we got to get an icebreaker set up first. Now the icebreaker uh, takes the ice and converts it to water, and the water gets pumped into this machine here, and gets turned into oxygen containers. And then I build the stasis chamber, and for some reason the stasis chamber doesn't or stasis barrier, oxygen barrier. Yes, that's the word, oxygen barrier. Uh, it doesn't need to be connected to the pipes or anything. As, as long as it has power, then it'll automatically consume the oxygen that's in there and create the bubble that's around that you will see. Uh, ice machine uh you know what i have these plates let's use them uh, i guess i could get a smelter set up they're fairly cheap iron is everywhere all right um put this somewhere for now right there so i'm gonna have to connect power to it so we go on here and then uh, as you can see i was myself i was doing two to one in the smelter i'll get a three to two and then you get the advanced smelter which gets you four to three so it's not quite doubling but it's d definitely getting much efficient more efficient i believe the times are faster and this is basically an auto smelting oh and i already had everything smelted anyway so i don't know why i was doing that uh what am i doing here oh yeah i was uh making hang on a second i'm having a moment Okay, that moment has passed. All right, so yeah, I do actually need the construction uh, construction research here, which I actually need the what is it? The engineering science. Now we don't actually need the uh, engineering science for the, that. We do need the laboratory though, and I need for the laboratory. I need twenty wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft twenty twenty wire. Twenty wire. I can actually use this if I wanted to. Drag that up to twenty. We'll go ahead and set that going. That'll leave me with uh, twenty ingots left. Okay, now I actually want to get the ice crusher going for now. I'm going to set it up inside because I got the well, I'll get the recycling eventually. That was actually on my hot bar. Um, that's not it. That's a tank, but we'll need that shortly. There we go. Eight. Now I'll put this over here because it's going to go over there anyways. Isn't a bad spot? No, it's not actually. We'll do... Hmm. I guess I'll do it that way. So I do need to make pipes. No, pipes I need more wire for, so I need to get more iron. I guess I'll be back. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. For the time being, I'm actually going to use the stuff I have. I actually like this because it actually shows, shows liquid in the pipes, even though there's no liquid in there. But uh, there is, as far as I know, there isn't fluid dynamics in that misplaced for some reason. So... Uh, let's switch this over and now I'll take both of them out because I don't have it and all you do is hit delete but because I don't have recycling I don't get anything back 
uh, what happens is you go up to the recycling machine and anything that you've taken apart you can put into the recycling machine and get the materials back other than that they're gone forever so yeah that's produce going to produce water which gets fed into this machine which will turn that into uh, oxygen tanks which i've already got set up to autocraft and now all i gotta do is set up some wire and we are going to go up with this like so i'm gonna have to craft, make some more wire i don't think i have the supplies for it but we'll find out shortly uh i was gonna say something oh that has to go one higher of course it does uh I was going to mention something else. I can't remember what it was. Uh, let me think about that. I'll be back. Okay. Whatever it was is lost and gone forever. Anyways, I am set up here. So uh, this should have power. It does. All I have to do is give it some ice. So take the ice out of here. Now, just because my inventory is not visible does not mean it actually goes in. So it's in there. We go ahead and open that up and throw that in. And it is actually going to produce water. I forgot to put a tank, didn't I? Yes, I did. Hmm. I think I could put it in over here because I actually left some room where the wire is. I hit the wrong button. Of course I did. I want six. Uh, put that one there. Uh, yeah, we'll go with two. Uh, you can stack, you can build as many tanks as you want together and it'll actually create one solid unit. So it's actually an interesting idea. And. I don't know if it's going to work two ways like that or not, so I'm going to put another pipe on this side and just hope that everything works out fine. Sure. We're producing oxygen. Good enough for me. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Uh, okay, so now, now we go ahead and get our stasis chamber set up, or our state, uh, oxygen barrier, and I need that gold. Now, it's a good thing I've actually mined that gold. It's two to one on the gold. Oh, no. Uh, get that out of there. That's what I want. All right, um, we need that gold. Let's find some gold here. Uh, a few things you need it for. I see some green over there. Uh, hmm. Yes, play the sad music while I'm trying to find gold. I keep seeing that, that planetoid over there. I keep thinking it's gold, but it's not. All right, well, I guess I'm playing the waiting game until I find another chunk of gold. Uh, that's such a shame. Alright, I'll be back. Of course, as soon as I start recording, there it is. At the same time, too, I realized I could actually set something else up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No warning. Oh, and I shouldn't be boosting like that either. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I don't have any oxygen. I don't have any oxygen. I'm surprised I can actually boost anyways. Oh, that doesn't work either. Uh, hmm. We have a problem. Uh, hmm. How are we going to address this? Uh, ah. Give me that. Get in there. Thank you. Alright. Where was that gold? Uh, hmm. And no, I haven't actually died yet in the game. I say yet because it's going to happen. Uh, we're going to go check that one out before we end the episode too. Uh, like that place down there. I lost me gold. Where was it? Looking for her ri my riches in a sea of marbles. Oh, there it is. Alright. I really only need one, but I'll not take it all. Gotta grab some ice before we finish and get back to. Uh, and... Now the thing about the the oxygen barrier is it's not. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, it's not like just uh, an instant thing. And I think to fill up your oxygen tank, like your full oxygen tank, takes about three or four of those oxygen capsules. So that's something to think about. Uh, I gotta get the gold in here. Or ever finish this up. Uh, the machines do have actually very nice animations too that I've noticed, uh, especially with like conveyors when items are going in, little doors open and come out the other side and same with the container, uh, storage containers and stuff like that. Anyway, 
Uh, before I die, let's do this. All right, now this could be anywhere, so I might actually hide this back here for now. Again, I'm going to be moving everything to different areas, and as you can see, my oxygen is automatically going up at the expense of these. I don't know how many it's going to use. I guess it only uses one. Okay, I think it used about two of them. So instead of putting ice in here, I put ice in here, and this turns it into water, which gets stored in here, and it's turned into these oxygen tanks, which sadly are going to need for research. We're actually going to need them for the biology research, which happens to be this one. We're going to need uh, carbon, uh, carbon fiber and oxygen tanks for that. So that's going to be an interesting one. But so there we go. We do have our, our little oxygen bubble here. So anywhere that I'm in here, I automatically get oxygen, and it goes up to about here that's because i place it there if i place it in the middle i have better co coverage but of course you can have as many of these set up as you want so with that now uh what do i have for iron on me oh we gotta do the laboratory we can build a floor all right laboratory all right now this needs power too just like everything else in the game oh i remember what i was going to talk about now and uh i will have to sacrifice some resources to move everything later now the, the power generation i was sort of getting into this and i didn't really completely finish off but uh we're generating 10 here now it sees, sees the, uh, shows you the network state and uh, it's telling saying that there's 15 demand and 10 consume so basically a note network load of 150 percent now in cases like satisfactory shut you down your power grid and s some other games certain machines may fail if they don't have enough power to run but everything else would in this case the machines actually run at a deficiency so i could have an entire station running off of one solar panel which only generates one kilowatt with an efficiency of 0.05 or stuff like that if i really wanted to it still works it just runs at that at that percentage of speed so it doesn't really shut you down, that just means smelting is going to take longer, oxygen production is going to take longer. Uh, I don't think the science really, well the science will be affected. Um, but with the science being said, uh, I do have to get some more iron and copper. So let me gather a few things and then uh, we'll get some flooring done before the end of the episode. Actually there's one thing we can do. Since I won't need iron and copper, we might as well go ahead and get into this. And I don't want to get into this right away. Uh, the, the asteroid catcher because this is a manual thing you actually have to climb in there and do it manually to catch the asteroids and just automatically crush them and then you take them out of the inventory there is an auto asteroid catcher which i have to research still where you specify what type of resource you're looking for and it'll, it'll gather the primary ones so it'll gather like the black ones for carbon you know, the orange ones for copper the gray ones for iron and then the blue ones for ice so that is a thing um, but that's why I didn't want to really get the asteroid catchers built because, you know, what's the point if there's better ones? And, uh, yeah, there is, uh, gravity boots I was talking about. I actually do have the iron on me. Alright, let's go ahead and use a the smelter then. Just throw that in there, that in there. And that'll get me... It'll get me four, and I think that, yeah, that's actually what I need. Uh, wait. Actually, how much science do I need? That's a good question. This is where the uh, auto production go gets going. We'll probably get into um, automation next episode. All right. So uh, for construction, I need six. So I got to get six iron and six copper, and I have my twelve and twelve. Okay, I'm gonna need a lot more than that. All right. Well, anyways, uh, I thought I had copper. I did. Oh. Always want to make sure to turn that off. I forget about that so many times. I, in my other, in my, in my other playthrough, I had like stacks of iron plates because I forgot I had the had had the auto smelting and that turned on. If even though I had machines to do it all for me. Anyway, uh, I will be back. Yes, that was fast because I forgot I was going to actually build this thing. All right, uh, asteroid catcher. So again, I need power for this. Uh, I think I might actually set up another generator. Actually, I can, I'll just turn this machines off. Uh, just because it's going to mine faster. Hmm. Well, it's going to have to... Hmm. 
<laughs> I guess I'm just going to put it here for now. Uh, well, that's the wrong button. I guess when I get into the autom automated stuff, I want to get it off, sort of off the main base because you'll see in a moment here. Uh, oh, that was actually the one thing I was going to talk, talk about with this uh, uh, the feature they've added in here. Is you have the middle, middle mouse click to auto to do the pick. So you can pick, choose the item if you want to build. So if I want to build another one of these, I could just middle click on it. And then it gets up the blueprint for me. In this case, I want wire. So I go ahead and click the wire and then we'll hook it up to the grid. And is that lined up? It is. It's like I've done this before. All right. So now this is our asteroid catcher. Now we go in here to cast as catch asteroids and choose what I want. I am gonna need, I'm gonna grab a piece of copper. This is sort of the passive resource collection, similar to uh, like the nets in Raft. So I'll hop out of here and you can actually watch the animation. You can see the lasers up there, picking away at it. And then it'll shrink down sizes as it goes through stages. And then leaves the resources in here. So that is, this is the, the manual one, which is tedious. And I like to get. I want to get into the other ones where you can actually have one choosing each one of those. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna. I guess I'll play around with this for a little bit. And I'll be back. Actually, there's something we can do while I'm, while we're waiting. Well, while I'm waiting, um, is we'll. I'll show you the conveyors because I'm actually gonna get this feeding right into the smelter. If the carbon or ice goes into the smelter, it doesn't matter. It just stays in there. And that is wrong. that is a recipe. I don't want the recipe. I want the build. All right, so we go to the pads. We have conveyor belt, conveyor belt pro, pro. We have transport pipes, which are transport tubes. They allow you to go horizontal, vertical, any direction, fast versions of it. And we have uh, uh, basically junctions that go from a conveyor joint from one type to the other. So we'll go ahead and use this. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate that. And what I'm going to do, just to give you an example, is I'm going to leave it there. And then this one's going to be here. So, what you can do is after stuff is placed, uh, it's only seems to be really usable with uh, the conveyor belts. Is while you've hovered over it with hovered over it, hovered over it with this tool, you can actually rotate it in place. You can do that right on the fly, so it actually comes in handy. You can do that with the machines too, but it doesn't really make sense with the machines because of the sizes that they are and all that stuff. As you can see, everything's feeding in, the smelter is doing its work. And if I wanted to, I could have this feeding right into the lab, but I don't want to be doing that because uh, I want to expand and do other stuff. Uh, anyways, I got some asteroids to catch. I shall catch you later. Okay, I have enough for now at least. Uh, if you're wondering why stuff is flashing, I should turn them off to improve efficiency of the other machines. Because uh, I was running, running over power, so I shut them off to get efficiency back up, especially for the smelter. I'm going to leave the ice crusher off for now. I'm going to actually turn this off, because I want to turn the lab on, so we're going to have this running at full power. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in here, and we are going to keep that going. It takes 12 seconds to do each one. Uh, that's just for this research. When we get into the advanced research, as you can see, here's the recipes. I was talking about the chemistry research it requires dirt and iron rods. Now, dirt is the only thing we cannot produce, as far as I can tell, and that uh, all has to be all has to be mined from planetoids. Uh, oxygen we're producing right now. Carbon fiber is carbon in the event. I believe in the. I think you can just do this in a regular workshop, my uh, advanced workshop. Oh, actually, we can right click and find out. Produced by uh, constructor. So, not workshop. Constructor and advanced constructor. And used by, it tells you all the different things that I use for this uh, kitchen for the colonist, barn, farm. It's basic food stuff for the colonists. I don't think it really matters what they choose. But then, as you can see, it gets down further into motherboards and aluminum and then polymers and concrete. And all sorts of interesting fun stuff. Anyways, let's get out of here. Load this back up. Uh, we got five and I think one more and I should be able to get to construction. Now the thing about uh, this research too, as you can see it, well, I guess it, you don't have to tell you that as she says right there, that it's generated by the asteroid collectors. So as long as we have the asteroid collectors running, you will always produce uh, basic science. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, basic science. All right, so now we can actually produce a floor. Yay, we can have a floor to walk on. All right, now I actually do... That's the wrong panel. Yes. 
floor. Now this actually unlocks all this. We got different different floor grid sizes. I've never actually used this. Uh, this is just basically a platform extension, and you can connect it right off of there. But what I want to do is I actually want to do the the custom floors, and you actually have all these different patterns that you can use everywhere from uh, a wire fence, glass floor, girder, uh, to different sci-fi kind of stuff. So that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, hmm. What does that look like? Let's have a look here. Where shall I put this? Let's go on this side. No preference. It doesn't matter because we're probably flying this thing anyways. I don't have many. Uh, what do I really want to get going? Yes, we'll put this right in the middle for now. We'll do a, just do a five by five, or five by whatever. Let's see what that is. Oh, okay, that's kind of what I thought it was—a different type of grading. But that's actually kind of interesting with the building style. And there's also different things you can get. You get to different types of walls and doors and different block types, and then uh, you get the decals and decorations. So there's a lot of building options. Uh, I do like that the decora decorative items are free of cost because they're not functional, so you really shouldn't be needing to spend resources on them, which is okay, I guess, but uh, there is lights and all that stuff we can get into. Uh, function, that's basically what we're doing with more or less, and yes, this is the blueprint system I was talking about, which is, which comes in handy if you wanna do like a lot of off station mining, you can set up a build a like a mining platform set up with generator wire and all that stuff, and just take it out there, throw it down, build a couple, build yourself a couple of mining drones, and you're off good to go. But uh, yeah, that's basically what we got started. So I think we're gonna call this episode here. I'm gonna do a little bit of work off camera, get up some resources and all that stuff, and and then we'll continue on the next one. So anyways, I thank you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like as always. We're actually going to go check out that glacier downstairs. I actually forgot about that. All right. I should be able to make it. Let's turn the jetpack off. Oh, yeah. We got plenty of O2 to make it. And then this brings us up to whatever this is. And it looks like it has a lot of stone on it. So this is stone. This will get, this will get us quartz. We have... Why is that shown as a rock? I guess not, but you can see it actually tells you the name of each one of these planetoids actually has a name But what is that? Why is it showing as rock? It doesn't look like rock, so I guess this is all quartz. I don't have the scanning yet Hmm There might be something hidden in here. Oh, there it is. It's gonna be a big old iron deposit Unfortunately, I don't have the scanner, so I can't see how much it is uh, Where is the station? Oh, I don't have it on the map so what we'll do is we're going to go to our first station and we're actually going to draw a pin there so I can always find my way home. With that, we're going to call it. So again, I thank you all so much, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>